So we're outside Taylor Swift and Travis Kelsey's secret date night spot, Pirapose in Kansas City. Wow, is this for real? <laughs> It's for real, Jacob. I am gonna take you guys along with me eating at their favorite restaurant. And not just that, we're gonna be eating in the private room that they ate in. There's a 99% chance that my butt is gonna be sitting on the same chair that Taylor Swift's rear. Dairy. Dairy ear. Thanks for a better word choice on that. Touched. Honestly, by the end of this, I feel like I might turn into Taylor Swift. I don't really know what's gonna happen. I'm doing this for all of the Swifties. This is actually happening. It just feels like it's 1989 or something. It's a cool summer. <laughs> is this real life or are we in a folklore? The Pirapose website says that everyone who walks in takes in the environment and immediately says, wow. Let's see if it, if that actually is a thing. Wow. 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 This is the room. Do you feel the vibes? It just doesn't feel real. Like we're really here. Our waitress came in. She said that Travis comes here all the time and she even knows what they ordered. So we might be able to get exactly what they got. This will be a true stalker experience. Do you think when they were here, they shut the curtains? Yeah, so I feel like we should shut them too. Should I request that? Yeah, cause I don't like feeling seen. I know. Yeah, I just need the privacy. Do you think her lips touched this glass? The Diet Cokes have arrived. The article I read actually said she ordered a blondie, which was very interesting because a source said her favorite drink used to be a Coke vodka. Like the drink Coke. At least I think. <laughs> it, was, it was the drink Coke. But so she's moved on to blondies. So, or blonde, what was it? A French blonde? I don't even know what that is. Yeah, but I, I'm just having Diet Coke. <sighs> The bread has arrived. Two types of bread, and I'm leaning towards Taylor Swift ate this one, so I'm gonna eat that one. And she's kind of a tomato girl, I can tell, so. She's definitely a tomato girl. Lonely Starburst lovers. <laughs> I just feel like I'm hot. Lonely Starburst lovers. They'll tell you I'm insane. So Travis, have you been practicing for the Super Bowl? Good job. What'd you say, Travis? You're so funny. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> oh, are you stressed for the big game? Travi, you know what I always say. Shake it off. <laughs> no, but for real. Fine. Right then the waitress walked in on me pretending to be Taylor Swift on a date with Travis. <laughs> I'm not kidding. For a second, I actually thought it was real. <laughs> <laughs> to start, we got empanadas. Mm. <laughs> she said that this plate right here is exactly what Taylor and Travis ordered. Two cheese empanadas and one corn. Rumor has it that Travis ate both the cheese ones and Taylor took the corn. <gasps> I didn't know we were gonna be getting this, this into the details of it, but I love how they know all of everything that they ate and stuff, you know? Let's just dig into these, why don't we? That's the cheese one. Now, the corn. So this is what Taylor ate. Mm -hmm. mm. This is so her. <laughs> I got why she ate this corn one. Sorry, I want me to save some for you. You can have Taylor's. Yeah, I did want one bite. Sorry. That's like so effing good. I know. Taco meat or something? Beef. <laughs> this is good. <laughs> empanada, empanada. I'm about to make someone a baby mama. Because they're so good, you know? Yeah. <laughs> like, cool. Yeah. Oh, I feel so rich. <clears throat> oh, this food makes you bop. I wonder if they did that after they ate it. So the entrees have arrived. <laughs> I actually got exactly what both Travis and Taylor ordered on their date night, the blackened mahi-mahi with lobster risotto. <clears throat> I asked, did they split it? And she said, no, they each got their own. But we didn't want to both just get the same things. We wanted to try more things. So we also got the filet with brandy sauce or something. Mm, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is our signature item. We couldn't come here without trying that. Even if Taylor Swift didn't have it, we if still needed to. she did say to. Travis, Kels has ordered stuff like this before. Like oh, this yeah. Anche. He loves the steak here. <laughs> it's what makes him um, throw those balls so good. He's one of the biggest ball throwers in the country. But he's actually a tight end. It's like, what do they do? They're just like, all being all tight. Is this edible? No, right? Try it. Okay, so I'm gonna dig into this mahi mahi. Why don't I? Travis, babe, thank you for this recommendation. This really hits. 
I'm assuming that's what she said after the first bite. This is very good. <clears throat> I'm just gonna dig into the mushrooms because I love mushrooms. We actually asked the waitress if this was a one-off thing of Swifties buying the private room, but she said it's actually been happening a lot since they were spotted here. She said that people have asked, what seat did she sit in? I wanna sit in that seat. She said she doesn't know the seat though. But unfortunately, yeah, they didn't keep track of what exact seat she sat in, so we don't know. We could be in her seat, we could not be. Don't you picture a Swifty coming in here and actually crying? <laughs> <laughs> and like, when their grandma died, they barely cried, but when they come in here, they're crying. I like, know. Wow. Like, they're like, yeah, I was bawling my eyes out being in the same room as Taylor Swift, and the mom's like, you didn't even cry at um, grandma's funeral. It's a little bit red. Mm. I'm so excited to try this filet. I love a good bloody steak. The filet is so juicy and tender. I think I'm gonna take a little restroom break. I'm gonna see where Taylor peed. Just kidding, unless it's, I'm assuming it's gendered bathrooms and I'm gonna have to see where Travis pees actually. But I'll take in the vibes and I'll report back. So don't worry guys, don't worry Swifty Nation. I'll be telling you all the details. Okay, you guys, I'm back. I actually have a lot to report. So, it's those types of urinals that go all the way down to the floor. Also, I found something was a little bit interesting. By the sink, there was this bottle that said white rum or something, and then there was all these little shot glasses, but I think it was mouthwash. Once you have this garlicky, like buttery steak and these smelly mushrooms, like you go in, rinse out your mouth, and then you sit across from Taylor Swift with your minty fresh mouth. But yeah, that's it. Nothing else really to report. Hand soap smells good. They let us know that Taylor and Travis actually didn't indulge in dessert. She actually said Travis isn't much of a dessert guy. But that's not gonna stop us. We're getting dessert. Sorry, Taylor and Travis. I don't care, you can't stop me. Stop trying to control us. I know. I have to do everything she does, eat everything she eats. Like, it's starting to feel like I'm in a controlling relationship. Dessert has arrived, honey. Yeah. We got a deep fat fried bread pudding with <laughs> deep ice cream. Fat fried. <laughs> with ice cream on it. And a banana bread thing, which we didn't even order this, but she threw it in because she likes us so much. <laughs> she actually said that we remind her of Taylor Swift because we're just so fun and yeah. we're just creative. See, yeah. She said we seem really famous. Okay, let's dig into this deep fat fried goodness, why don't we? Yeah, you should get this next time you come in, Taylor. I know, I can't believe she didn't get dessert. I know, now I kind of am mad at her. I know. I might like, unfollow her. Yeah, I was actually thinking about not unfollowing her on all platforms, but maybe just Instagram or something for not getting dessert, you know? It's problematic. Okay, let's try this banana. Tastes like banana. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> it does. I know it. She might have touched this wall. <sighs> I don't wanna go. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Oh, I thought there'd be like a bunch of paparazzi waiting, like when Taylor and Travis were here. Can we at least take some photos? It's official. I am Taylor Swift now. One of the ladies at the front of the restaurant actually showed me a photo of her when she was six years old holding a Fred shirt. I saw the photo of her with the Fred shirt. I was like, oh my God, that's so cute. And she was like, yeah, I can't believe I'm showing you this. I, you couldn't have waterboarded this photo out of me before today. Like she really wanted to keep that photo hidden, not be ever seen with a Fred shirt, but she took it out for me, which I appreciated. So you might be wondering how much does it cost to have a night like Taylor and Travis? Well, the exclusive back room fee is $100. And all the food we ordered was around like $150. So altogether, $250 plus tip. It's not cheap to live the life of Taylor Swift. But I'm glad I took out a loan to experience it. But that was a great time. Thank you for coming along. And don't forget to subscribe, hun. Is there anything you wanna say? I'm glad it happened. But yeah, I don't have anything else to say.